The head of South Korea's military manpower agency spoke up about granting military exemptions to BTS and other K-pop idols. During the news conference held in Seoul, Lee Ki-shik emphasized the importance of fairness, saying that it should be given priority over national interest when it comes to fulfilling military service. All able-bodied men are required to serve in the military for a set of period of time, with exceptions rarely being granted. He said, allowing BTS members to be exempt from military duty would set a bad precedent. This is not merely my personal opinion, but rather a reflection of the existing regulations outlined in the Military Service Act. Last year, there was heated debate over whether BTS members should be given military exemptions for promoting national prestige. But under existing rules, exemptions are only offered to athletes who win a gold medal at the Asian Games or any medal at the Olympics. Mandatory service can also be excused for classical musicians who win world-renowned awards. Regarding the issue of conscripting women into the military as a means to address shortfalls in personnel who can serve in the country's armed forces, the commissioner said the idea is premature. Lee explained that having such a discussion at a time when the population is declining will only fuel unnecessary debate between men and women. He also opposed the idea of extending the mandatory military service period for eligible men. In 2003, the military service period was reduced from 26 to 24 months as a means to ease the burden of conscription. This was further reduced in 2018 with the service period now standing at 18 months for people serving in the Army. Those enlisting in the Navy must serve 20 months, while Air Force recruits must complete 21 months in uniform.